Hey, what's going on? This is Seth. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to bulk skip trace a list of property owners using stridesKip.co. This is a tool that makes it fast, easy, and super affordable to skip trace all the property owners on your list. So if you're not familiar, skip tracing is how you can take some very basic information about a person, you know, like their first and last name and their property info, and then use this to track down even more of their contact info, like phone numbers and email addresses. So you can reach these property owners directly by phone call, text, or email. And you can do this one at a time. There are some services out there that are designed specifically to drill really deep on one person. But the thing is, when you've got thousands of leads that you're trying to get their phone numbers and email addresses from, that doesn't really scale. That's where bulk skip tracing comes in. And there's lots of different companies out there that offer this as a service. But with Stride Skip, the pricing is some of the best you'll find anywhere. I mean, go ahead and check out our pricing page. You'll see what I mean. And even as good as it is, it gets even better if you're a Stride CRM subscriber. If you want to try this yourself, just follow the link below to sign up for Stride Skip. And you don't need to be a Stride CRM user in order to use Stride Skip. But if you are, keep in mind, it'll unlock exclusive pricing for you that makes this a complete no brainer. Some investors sign up for Stride CRM just for the skip tracing discount. It's that good. So let me show you how this works. Once you get to the strideskip.co homepage, just go up here and and sign up and it doesn't cost anything to sign up and you'll actually get a hundred free credits after you do sign up just heads up and also if you are a stride crm user and if you use the same email to create your account it's going to recognize you as a stride crm user and give you a discount code which is going to apply this insane discount to any skip tracing you do so if you're a stride crm user be sure to sign up for this with the same email as your main stride crm account once you're in your account it's pretty straightforward and simple there's not a whole lot of places you can get loss. We've got our dashboard up here. We've got skip tracing down here, and this is where we can just go ahead and upload our CSV file. You'll notice that we've got hundred credits up here. I'm going to go ahead and click this button and I'm going to grab a CSV file that I've got here from the land portal. I'm going to drag it over here and just so you can kind of see what's on here. It's all the usual stuff that we would normally get from a real estate data service with all of the property owner names and the property addresses and the mailing address, the whole nine yards. But the one thing it doesn't have because I haven't skip traced it yet are the phone numbers and email addresses. So we've got it loaded in here. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And if you've ever used a bulk skip tracing service like this, you've probably seen this kind of thing before. We basically have to map out the fields and make sure it's pulling the right information from our list. Some of the key information is the first and last name, the mailing address and the property address. And you'll notice that the property address is actually optional. And this is particularly important for land investors because a lot of times vacant lots don't have registered physical mailing addresses yet. However, we do have that person's mailing address. That's the important thing. So I'm going to go ahead and reference my original list just to make sure I'm pulling in the right information. So we've got owner first name, which is right here. So I'm going to say owner one first name and then similar thing for owner one last name. And then when we're looking for the mailing address and the land portal, it's this one right here. This is mail full address. So this is just the street number and the street name. Go ahead and find that. Make sure it's pulling on the right one there. And then mailing city. We got that right here, mail city, mail state, mail zip. Go ahead and grab that. Mail city, mail state, mail zip. And when it comes to the property address, so some of this information is in my land portal list, but sometimes it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and try to map it out. And if for some reason that information just isn't there, then it'll be fine because it's optional anyway. Go ahead and grab the property addresses. And in this particular list, we can see a parcel full address. That's where it would be if we do have it. But as you can see, because this is a entirely vacant land list, most of these don't have an address. So it's just going to be blank in most cases. But either way, I'll go ahead and map it out. Hopefully it'll help a little bit. And then similar thing here with parcel city, parcel state, parcel zip. And there we go. I've got it all in there. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. So let's go ahead and click this. All right, so it's been submitted. Just got to wait here for a second while it processes this and we'll see what came through. All right, so the list has been processed. Looks like it had a 79.7% .7 average hit rate, which is pretty normal. Let's go ahead and download this list, see what came back. And here it is. We can see the primary phone number that was sent back. We can see what type of phone number it was. By the way, I'm going to be blurring some of this stuff out just to protect these people's privacy. We can see which ones are on the DNC list, which is really important to know. We can also see 
uh, email addresses for some of these, which uh, it's pretty normal for many of these things to not come back with email addresses, but some of them do. And when we do get that, it's just an extra little bonus if we want to try to reach them by email. We can also see alternative phone numbers, alternative phone number one, alternative phone number two, and three, and four, and five. When we keep scrolling over here to the right, we can see which name each one of these phone numbers and email addresses is associated with. So we can kind of match this up to our original list or just sort of be done with our original list because this basically is our original list plus any skips that came back successful. So this is a super fast and cost-effective way to get a lot of this alternative contact information. And the best part is it is dirt cheap. If you're already doing high volume skip tracing, this pricing structure can seriously cut down on your costs in a big way. Before you go, go ahead and grab your free Stride Skip account now. Just go to strideskip.co. And if you're curious about Stride CRM and how it ties in with tools like this, check out my full breakdown video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.